hello my dudes i am back i know for you guys it is like hasn't changed that much except for the fact that videos are coming out less often maybe it's three times a week but i'm slowly downshifting to two times a week because you know school so uh i won't be producing as much content and what i do produce will be more like vlogs and stuff so i filled up like a page in this cool shiny notebook with little prompt things because I have a ton of stuff I wanted to talk about so I had to order it all and um yeah so um this is the first of those little vloggy things hmm. this morning I made myself some coffee which is the first time I'd ever made coffee like it was instant coffee so I like I put a spoonful of the thing in the thing and yeah that's how you do it uh and it tasted like burnt toast but it wasn't the worst burnt toast I'd ever tasted in liquid form. So it was fine. I drank like a quarter of the cup and then I poured it out. That was enough caffeine to wake me up. Because it's, you know, it's almost school. So I have to get back in a school schedule. Which means waking up at 6am. It's great. Anyhow. So. Yeah. So we didn't have any internet for the past like four days. Uh, Sunday like afternoon it got fixed. Yeah, that was a whole thing. So, um, yeah, uh, if it was whatever four days before Sunday was, there was like a fire on the electrical lines area thing somewhere on our street and the entire internet and power went out for like a whole block or something. Uh, and so the power people came and fixed it within an hour. Like it was less than an hour before the power came back on. But the internet and phone people did not. And so there was a lady who lives down our street, uh, One Direction, and she called them, the, the like, internet people three times. My mom called the internet people two or three times, and a lady on the other side of our street called the internet people, and they were like, we were all like, yeah, our internet's out, and so is the rest of the street. But because our street is apparently small and insignificant, it wasn't showing up as a, like, hey, this is a big thing on their radar. So they were just like, eh, whatever, it doesn't matter, but they can survive. I mean, we did survive because, like, we've had the internet out before, but it was still, like, not the most fun experience I've ever had. So I was a little bit kind of like, uh, yeah, and yeah, I was so, like, without the internet, I'm just, like, so alone because, you know, I'm, all the people I talk to are not on my phone because my phone is dumb. So, uh, yeah, next thing. So the, like, an unfortunate thing about having the internet out was that I just received a eh, Chromebook. Um, and I did not have to pay for this, but there's tape on it, so I'm going to take it off. Um, yeah, as far as I know, I didn't. So what happened was, wow, did the lighting just change? Because it looks like it did. Sorry about that. Um, so what happened was, uh, my mom's friend, uh, we stayed overnight one night, like, a few, maybe a month or two ago, and so she stayed in my room, and so we talked about random stuff till 3 a.m., like, literally, and she's decided that I need a personal device of my own, partly because I keep talking about wanting one, and partly because, uh, it would be really helpful for me to do schoolwork, especially if we would get iPads this year, because iPads are a lot harder to use, and so she was like, hmm. So she found this, um, somebody was trying to make some money, and so they sold it to her, and it wasn't, like, super expensive, and then she took it somewhere and got the inside fixed up. Um, there's a bit of, like, this part is a bit broken on the outside, as you can see. Um, I tested it out last night, and it is not, like, the most perfect machine ever. It's apparently a 2014 model, and then it's got... Um, I don't know, I don't know anything about computers, uh, but it's very helpful, like, it can do what I need it to do, I think, uh, cause I can go to bed, so, like, I can go to sleep, so, of course, that's what you do. Look at this, isn't it cool? Uh, so, um, there's a little part where you can see the, that thing, so I'm gonna cover it up, but I only have sewing scissors up here, so I hope they don't get ruined by this because this is actually really sticky all right so um yeah so i tested it out 
uh, last night, and um, it does connect to the internet in my room, at least by my door. It disconnected itself once, but I don't know if that's just because it was a new internet or it, because it was being dumb. Uh, I don't really know how computers do their thing. Um, but... This is hard to do. Okay, let's see if I can put this. I'm like sticking this on this bit. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and then. actually works. That's good. This is good duct tape. Oh. Okay. I was talking and I forgot what I was saying. Oh. Um. Right. So it connects to the internet. It is um really slow. But that's okay. I do not think that I'll be able to stream like Spotify on here which is kind of disappointing. I tried to watch like a three minute YouTube video and it got stuck twice from loading. Um, but I'm really appreciative to the person that got it for me, because this will be my first, like, computer thing ever that is mine. Um, my parents are going to try and come up with, like, a, a agreement or a code that we can use to make sure I don't do anything, like, terrible. Probably it's just going to be like, oh, this is when you have to stop using it at night, because it's not like I was doing anything illegal in the other one. Like, both illegal in real life and illegal to my parents. Well, I mean, technically Netflix, but... Uh, I mean, I could probably get Netflix up here, but why does it make a difference? Because I can also get YouTube up here, so. I don't know. Um, the battery does drain fairly quickly, and I haven't figured out how to put a wallpaper on it yet. So I'm going to plug that in, because it came with, like, a battery cord. Um, because it needs to basically be plugged in all the time, I guess. Uh, well, I don't know. It's at 80% right now. Maybe I'll plug it in when it's closer to losing its battery, but... Yeah, we've got a battery cord and a charger. It's going to be weird having, like, I'm so not used to school and because it's summer. It's going to be weird having a battery charger uh, around. I'm having trouble shutting this. It's going to be weird having, like, because I'll have my phone charger and then a different one that's kind of the same for my iPad and then this one, which is really just different for my yeah, uh, so I was able to try that out last night, but I got it a few days before that, and so our internet working is not working, and then, yeah. Okay, so, um, I also have gotten a new CD player, um, because my old CD player, this, it died. Um, like, yeah, I know it's not plugged in, but, um, the, it is a radio, both, it's a CD player, a radio, and an alarm clock, um, Originally, we got it because there was this one song that, there was like, I got it for Christmas one year, and then I needed an alarm truck to get up for school. It had a CD player in it, so we put in a CD with my favorite song on it, and then that became no longer my favorite song, because I woke up to it every morning, which was great. But, um, like, really recently, uh, I was trying not to use this object, the tablet, so much, so I was listening to CDs instead of using the internet to listen to stuff. And then this decided that it wasn't going to be able to read any CDs anymore. But I'm still hesitant to give it to my brother because he probably will take it apart. And if the one that I have now decides to stop working, that would be bad. But um, my fam went to Goodwill uh, one day and like I didn't come because I have money, but I don't want to spend it right now. I have clothes, remember? <laughs> um, uh, so they went to Goodwill and they found this for like five six dollars maybe ten I don't know it was really cheap and it's ugh, this which is red it looks kind of like a lady debug and um it's pretty pretty well functioning I haven't tried to use the radio for it so I don't know how that works but I don't really listen to the radio much anyways um the cd part does play the sound is a little bit weird because um it's it's hard to keep it loud. There's a button on the side uh, that uh, 
you wouldn't have seen it from the front but if it's not pressed in all the way the sound is like very very quiet and you can't hear it even when it's turned up loud but then if you press the button in all the way then it's pretty good and it stays loud and you can hear what's going on and it's nice and it's good yeah um so i'm gonna you know i don't know what i was talking about yeah so i've been using that to listen to while i've been crafting and stuff in my room so speaking of crafting, one of the things I did is like, who remembers the thing that was at the end of one of the videos I did more recently? Uh, because I filled up my perfume spray bottle with new perfume. So I had an empty perfume bottle, which was this one, but it's not empty anymore. The outside's really sticky though because of what how hard it was to pour stuff in here. But if I shake it up, I don't know if it'll still do it, but oh no, it won't. They all merged. So, uh, the perfumes from, Ugh. so, I have this bottle, uh, this bottle, and on the bottom it says, Beloved Perfume Prince Machabelli, New York City. Uh, so maybe that's like Prince scented. This has no label on it, but it was like really orange. Uh, this says Pavlova, Paris, nineteen twenty-two, and then this is Emerald de de C O T Y de Cody, which I also I think I have some makeup in that brand just because that's what I had. So um, I poured whatever was left in all of these containers into this container and they were all different so at one point it was doing that thing that like oils do when there's two different kinds of oils together and stuff and it made this really cool like bubbly like vinaigrette kind of look but I think they've all merged now because it looks like just poop water or something and these are were all sort of like kind of musky scents but also like vaguely fruity but more of like when a girl's trying to smell like a dude without actually smelling like a dude basically or like feminine masculine I don't know I really actually like you know dude body washes that smell like spicy like Old Spice is amazing I love it I don't use it much but like the combination of Old Spice and then like flower scents is amazing um, so anyhow, I have that perfume now, and so when the one that's in the spray bottle is empty, which will be not soon, I will use that one. And also, uh, there was a, like, yard sale, because there was, like, a concert happening at, in my town, or, like, in a town really close to us, and we were driving through it on the way home from church, and we saw this, like, yard sale thing, except it was the leftovers from a yard sale, so everything was free. We got some free stuff, and that was cool. Uh, my mom found this boa that she got for me, which she thought would look cool as some, like, trim or lining. And I think also, yeah, if there's a skirt with the bottom circumference of this uh, that I could wear, that would be, like, if I could make one. I don't know if it's big enough to make one that would fit me, but... Uh, yeah, so I think that is something I'm going to try is, like, putting fluffy trim on a skirt. Uh, there was some fabric she found for herself that was this, like, industrial strength red corduroy. And I don't know what she was going to make out of it. It was, like, she got it, but I thought it would be really cute to make, like, a, a jumper, kind of, like, a, a dress jumper. Like, a, I don't know. I had a, a corduroy, like... It was a dress, but it had the overall straps on it, and it was, like, pink with flowers on it. And I always thought that was really cute, but not when I was, like, wearing it, but, like, after I wore it. Another thing we got is this, like, uh, it's, like, a fleece, and it's this fleece scarf, but it's literally just a fleece strip with these tassels on it. And um, I've been making octopi recently, and you know the original tutorial I was using to teach myself had fleece, 
but I didn't have any that I knew about at the time to use or because I didn't have any fabric I wanted to cut out for it. Um, so I was using like flannel kind of stuff, which is also soft, but it's just not the same thing. But now I was, have fleece, so I've made uh, three octopi that are mainly fleece. One of them has felt feet, but yeah, um, which you'll see in a different video. Then I also found this cloth, which is a fairly see-through, like, red mesh type thing, which I believe was curtains because it's got this hole right here, and there's, it's like, I'm assuming that my arm's width is, like, arm span is a yard, then it's like four yards of cloth with about a yard long. And I have three of these, and I thought it would be really cute to make that into, a, like, a sort of a, like, it is see-through kind of a dress or, t like, dress top com combination, like, because I, I do know that that fabric is, like, really hard to work with, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but it looks really cute, and I love that whole, like, like, you know, that sort of sheer white top I have, and it's and I showed it to you, and I had, like, a black bra underneath. Like, I love the whole, like, black underwear or, like, under something underneath a uh, sheer thing. And, like, that color is the perfect thing to wear black underneath. So, um, yeah. Let me just check my notebook again. Um, okay, yeah. So, also, in the past few days, well, I haven't had internet and also have been uninspired to... Film, my brother has acquired an arsenal, uh, as in he already had a ton of, like, nerf darts and guns and stuff, but then he went to Goodwill, and he bought, like, four or five, and a few of them didn't work, so we took them apart, and then I think he ordered online an airsoft gun or two, so he has a few of those, and then he went to Walmart, and he bought, um, more nerf down, more nerf guns, and the one he bought now is, like, this long, like longer than the viewfinder can do where it is, and it's bright blue, and it's got this big ring of like three layers of bullets and stuff. Uh, so yeah, he's the ton of weapons, and it is not comfy when he shoots me with them. And his friend got um, an airsoft gun as well. They also have like airsoft pistols, and my mom makes them wear goggles to shoot each other because you don't want to get blinded by that and they it's just like I go into my room and there's airsoft and I like the little BBs there's BBs in the bathroom there's BBs in the car because they were hiding in the car it's like anytime we go somewhere they're just BBs or nerfs and they are like shooting each other because you have a neighbor friend and yeah so um that has all I have to say so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all next time. Bye bye!